Hey everyone, this is Uthris. Welcome back to Let's Build La Floria, episode 56. Uh, so last episode we built kind of the uh, town headsman, or uh, kind of the, not really baron, um, I don't know, just kind of the leader's home for the new town. Uh, out of all the names that I saw, I think Gwendale uh, for this town out here in the middle of the forest sounds the most suiting. And so we're going to be calling this location uh, Gwendale from now on. So I went ahead and took some suggestions for the overall design and I added a access staircase up to the top here and it's pretty nice because it's almost like a defensive tower built in to the main structure and uh, gives a little bit of a defensive spot here in the town which I think is very nice uh, because of the new wood wooden supports it's blocking some of the view, but I think these windows are mainly to see the garden that'll be here eventually. Uh, also suggestions to make the top part a garden. I like that suggestion a lot, uh, and I'm going to try and work some type of rooftop garden eventually. I think that's a really cool idea. Uh, and so a little bit of greenery on this one. I kind of made it look like some ivy or a vine was growing up the side of the building and I might try and do more greenery attached to buildings in general uh, I think it's something different and nice looking so that's pretty much what I did off camera this episode will be going ahead and building these two small houses and clearing some land for some farms uh, they're going to be a terraced effect and uh, kind of stacking on top of each other, kind of very almost Japanese rice paddy looking in terms of how they're stacked. But I mean, they're standard farms, they're not rice fields by any means, they're not going to have water in them. Uh, I don't think I did anything else off camera. We're just going to keep working on Gwendale over here. Still don't know if I like that windmill style for this town. I might make it into a more basic wooden windmill. Uh, maybe in between episodes. Between today and Wednesday. So these are going to be... One of these are going to be a two-story home very similar to say something we saw in the actual city and the way you usually do that I haven't done one of these in a while uh, you you pretty much it's very similar to this structure so the first floor is going to be all stonework and it will have a little extra area that will have a thatched roof And I'm thinking that area will just be out the back here. Um, if I can just clear all the silly tree bits that are back here as well. Uh, my game is starting to chug along a good bit, which is never a good sign. And, you know, it, it's still early access. We're just going to have to keep playing until it breaks, essentially. So that's going to be our doorway. We're going to have an entry window there. Uh, one out. I think this side. Need a entryway the back room and also need an entryway to the staircase that's going to lead us up to the second floor a 
always forget how to place the doorway so we can have a storage area underneath there. And then I think we need some more windows being placed like so. And in fact, may even do something like this to give us just an extra room. Small, yes, but you know, it's always just nice to have. And there we have it kind of the basic floor plan for kind of a medium sized home. You can say this guy is some type of professional person. It's the one kind of in the town. He was going to have kind of the second largest home next to, uh, I don't know what to call this thing. I mean, village head? Village, no, it just doesn't sound right. What, what is that called? Like the, the, per, the leader of a village. Is it village? I, I, you guys can tell me. I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything. I, I just build buildings that look interesting. That aren't usually right. So there's a little staircase up into the entryway. Two rooms, and I need the spiral staircase here, like so. Go ahead and lay out our floor. You guys could probably actually see just kind of the, it's not really a frame rate. It's like almost uh, like in Kerbal Space Program when there's just too many objects. The simulation like really starts to slow down. Forget what that's called. I think we're gonna have to do an interesting roof style here for this area. So the thatched area is going to have a plus kind of shaped roof. Be nice if I actually uncovered the staircase so we know where to put the door here. This side. I'm kind of speed building here. Um, if you guys have any questions on like thought process, you can let me know. Most of my videos have pretty much covered this whole thing by now. Uh, I, I just don't want to end up repeating myself every episode, I guess. For you guys who watch every episode, uh, you know, that's fucking awesome, but. I'm sure you might get tired of me saying, oh, we offset the wooden thing so it's visually appealing compared to just making them all face the same direction. Uh, I think by now that's kind of an established trait.
think we'll be able to put a thatched roof on that section. We'll put window, window there. Just do a plush shape there. Bring up all the walls. I definitely miss being able to use the alt key to delete sections uh, that I'm just looking at. I feel like that's, that's probably the thing I miss the most at the moment. But nothing I can really do about it. Oop. See, I think that looks right. I think my favorite thing about the the engineer series that these guys are making is space engineers and medieval engineers. When you're building something, like I picture in survival mode, houses and things are going to be built like this, and it's going to have scaffolding on it. And I think it's the most wonderful thing to see a building in progress because it looks like it's being constructed properly. Uh, unlike Minecraft, you get these blocks and you kind of see a shape. You're like, okay, I understand what they're going for. But like, example would be medieval engineers. You see all the scaffolding and like partially welded bits, and it just really looks uh, really nice. And I think that's why I prefer these games at the moment. Though granted, I am thinking about doing a Minecraft series. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of the mod uh, Terra Firmacraft. It's kind of a older mod, but I mean they still update it. Uh, basically, what it is, it turn is a complete overhaul for Minecraft and makes it very. I can't say realistic because it's it's not. Um, it's closer to realistic uh, for sure so I don't know what to call that so basically there's cave-ins uh, you, you work from the Stone Age all the way up through like the metals uh, and you have to it, it's very hard and, and slow progress and I think it, it's probably my favorite mod for Minecraft just because it's very rewarding to kind of watch as you build blacksmiths and bellows and the blacksmithing in, in the mod is awesome you actually have to like hammer out the tools and heat the metal and cool the metal uh it, it's it's definitely something worth checking out if you guys like minecraft and are a little bit bored of how easy it can be especially like build craft and stuff i mean i think that makes the game so easy and boring it, it it's like okay I have this metal and it just constantly produces stuff I, I find that boring it, it's not very really rewarding uh, that's why I'm really excited for real survival mode in this because when I would if I actually built all this in survival mode like holy shit that would take forever but I'd be so happy about it for some reason maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment in that sense that I enjoy grinding out all the materials anyways this is our little house um, I don't know if I want to make a loft area here there's definitely room for one but sometimes I enjoy just having a nice open space Uh, this house, I think I'll do off camera in between episodes. Uh, I, I kind of want to show you guys what the terraced farms will start looking like here. So basically, we haven't done any terrain sculpting in a little while. What I do is I kind of figure out how high uh, the foundation needs to be. And then I'm going to put a wall here for support 
Now all the wall is going to be visible. I will probably try and sculpt a lot of the hillside back. Uh, this one might be interesting to leave a good bit of it exposed. It's kind of a start. Let's see. Uh, and then from there, uh, since I know about what height it's going to be, I can grab my train... Uh, auto level tool here and basically just kind of it's basically how much foundation you want to show so if you want to show just a little bit you can you can show a lot more it almost creates a little bit of a taller wall I prefer almost about that much I, I don't know how to describe that that's about I don't know uh, an eighth of a block overhang and then now you have a flat area to put your farm and then from here you just keep terracing until you reach the height that you're looking for I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these trees they're in the way Oh, no, 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 no. Don't land on the wall. It landed on the wall, didn't it? Uh, yeah, you can just see how slow the simulation is running. Just from how s sluggish these trees move in the air. Um, that's going to break more wall. So that's cool, I guess. Not like I spent any time building that at all. Whatever. So pretty much this whole kind of section that's higher than the town is going to be tiered farming. And it might have a house or two kind of worked in as well. So I think that'll be a pretty cool look. And all the trees fall over like dominoes. No, 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 no. Go uh. <laughs> away. Uh. Okay. I'm just glad we haven't had like a rogue branch break of trees like that and that fall into these and then crush our house that we just made. That would be... A brilliant thing, don't you think? Usually when I do mass clearing like this, I would actually just turn off the uh, voxels and everything. Holy shit, there's a giant hole! God damn! Okay, that's fixable. When did this happen? I'll, I'll fix that off camera. You guys didn't see that. Um, anyways, back to expanding the terraced farm. Nothing went wrong at all in my plan of getting this to work. And nowhere did I say I wouldn't cur curse in any of these series. So if you're surprised, uh, welcome to the fucking show. Let's see. So I think that's a fairly good terrace. And then we can just make a new layer. You can push and pull sections out to make interesting shapes. 
You can even use uh, curves as long as they're uh, bowing inwards. So basically these, these sections are used for like taking off corners like this and rounding them out. In fact, I might do that for this one. It might look cool. And then why not over here as well? And what you can also do is, I'm gonna raise this up one more. And then connect to it, in this corner here, we're gonna have a really tall break, and then a kind of middle ground here that will actually continue that second level around a little bit more. Like that. So we get a lot of layers uh, and I think it looks very nice when you do things like this. Yeah, I can even put a staircase kind of connecting this area to this area and then a staircase connecting that area to this one or no staircases connecting them and the only way to access them is like one winding path that goes through them all. You know, there, there's a lot of options you can do with things like this. Let me just flatten this area out. I'm thinking Medieval Engineers, at the moment, isn't quite as popular as Space Engineers for the simple reason that there's no multiplayer. Um, and that's totally understandable. Multiplayer is a wonderful thing to have, but if they're going to release it all buggy and everything, I'd rather them wait. And just kind of do it right, you know? Because they're having to rewrite Space Engineers multiplayer, and I think that's you know, just a sign that they should wait on this one for now. Maybe get some more survival aspects in. Some more weapons, uh, some ranged weapons would be nice, like a bow. Um, I don't know why that's not in yet. I mean, if they have a gun in Medieval Engineers, I mean Space Engineers, they should be able to just pour that over, change the texture and ammunition, just as a temporary thing. I would think so. But then again, what do I know? I don't make video games. And... I just blow up my own buildings. Okay, that's it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying the series, as always, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you want me to build next, leave a comment down below. And um, I think we need for the next episode a name for that thief over there. So this one is called Gwendal as a reminder um, and this lumber mill camp will need a name in fact I need to build a couple more houses back here near the Baron's uh, home so if you guys have any suggestions feel free to let me know see you guys in the next episode